Hello everyone, it is March 10th, 2012, just a little bit afternoon, and uh, this is a follow-up on project number one. I'm going to fire up the rocket stove this morning, or this afternoon rather, and uh, this is the back part of the rocket stove. I wanted you to see exactly how it's going to work. It's not totally finished yet, but it's finished enough to light up. This is the exhaust here, and uh, you may see my hand better than my glove. Uh, the chimney is right in here. The uh, drum is here, of course. The exhaust will come out here. And uh, the way it's been explained to me, um, as the fire gets hotter, up in the upper part of the drum, it'll burn most of the things that appear as smoke, but it'll still be smoke. Uh, when I get this completely finished, there'll be a metal ductwork coming out this way, and a uh, pile of dirt and clay and uh, maybe bits of brick and gravel around it, maybe two or three feet in diameter or about that size, and uh, that will absorb the heat from the exhaust, and it'll uh, eventually go out the other end of my workshop in a uh, vertical stovepipe. But the heat will be captured right here. And that is the heat that it uh, doesn't use to melt aluminum, we hope. But I'm going to move around to the other side and light the fire up. Just a second. Close your eyes because uh, this is allowed to be kind of jumpy as I move the camera. I'll move it as smooth as I can. It's in the mid-40s today. And... Uh, it's not extremely cold, but then it's uh, it's not too bad either. Hang on just a second. Let's switch this around. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to also show you a couple of things I made to, um, I think, make the uh, fire maybe burn better. I learned a little bit when I was in school about uh, working with sheet metal, and I used that to, uh, and a piece of sheet metal, to make a little tray, it's an uh, inch deep here, to uh, go under where the fire is going to be. I'm going to put that in there. That way there's an inch gap there, and uh, the air will come up around the end. There's an inch gap. Or air can always get under the fire. The uh, materials that are going to be burned, I'm going to put right in here. And I also made this out of sheet metal. I'm going to put some things in there right quick. And uh, maybe we don't need that. Um, also some wood. And I'm going to be able to uh, put that in right on top of that tray that I made. And I'm going to be able to feed the fire from here. And uh, you can see how that tray keeps the uh, keeps the materials up so that there's always a place for air to get in under the fire. Now we we'll put in a little go juice. This just uh, makes it a little, a little quicker to start the fire. Let's see. Put a little bit in here. And we don't want it to run back out. Did. So here we go. We're going to start the fire. A little on here. And we'll be ready to go here in a minute. Matter of fact, I'll just light it from here. Light it from this end. Let it crawl its way up that board. It'll get to the uh, to the stove immediately. Not immediately, right? Pretty soon. And I'm going to also put this uh, little steel can with the three Pepsi cans in it. I've been trying to get melted. There we go. Let's 
see how hot it gets on top of the stove. I've got a garden hose up here in case things go crazy. And uh, I don't know if you can see the fire or not, but the fire is being drawn towards the chimney, which will go up inside the 55-gallon uh, drum. Get this wood started. It'll be good. It's pretty warm already. what it looks like coming out the exhaust. Yeah, it looks okay. It's just smoke. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the uh, putting more mortar around the 55-gallon uh, drum maybe tomorrow. But it's still not exactly tight. But still, it'll be an indication of whether it's going to get hot enough to do what we want to do. It's hard to see if the fire is doing well because it draws the flames in toward the chimney. I can hear it burning. I can see it a little bit. Anyway, it looks like it's going to work. We just don't know how hot it's going to get yet. And uh, we'll do, uh, do a better test maybe later on uh, to see how hot it's going to get. But uh, this just, uh, I was just wanting to keep you updated and let you know that things have not gone by the wayside. We're actually still working on that stove. And uh, it's about done. So uh, we'll be able to see pretty soon. I'll let you know how things went today. I'm not going to uh, make you sit here and watch the whole thing. Uh, we see that there's smoke coming all over the place. So I'm going to seal up some of those openings with mortar and let it all come out the back at the exhaust where it's supposed to. Anyway, y'all uh, keep your fingers crossed. I'll keep working on it. And uh, like I said before, if you're building one of your own, I would like to uh, see a video of it. Uh, I think everybody would if you'll just uh, put a link uh, on YouTube and send me an email. I'd like to take a look at it and we'll put it on as an attachment or something. We'll find out how to do it. Anyway, y'all have a good day and um, springtime is almost here. Another few days. So, y'all have a good day and enjoy the weekend. And uh, we'll have more videos later on. Um, y'all take care, alright?